grade for math facts today, you will need to make sure that you have class back practice 36A. Please make sure you have a pencil and then also make sure that you have your favorite colored crayon or colored pencil so that you can check your work in just a few minutes. We're going to go ahead and get started today. We are looking at our sums of 10 as well as review facts. Go ahead and make sure that your name is on your paper. and then we'll be ready to get started. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple problems and then you are on your own this morning. Let's start with eight plus two. What is eight plus two? Eight and two more. Right, if you said 10, you were correct. Let's go ahead and look at a review fact, seven plus eight. I notice when I look at seven plus eight that the numbers are right next to each other when I count. If you don't believe me, take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm just gonna count to 10. Take a look, seven and eight are right next to each other when you count. So we know that this has to be a doubles plus one fact. I take my smaller number, circle the smaller number, and that's the one I have to double. Seven plus seven is 14. Now, because they're next to each other and eight comes after seven, I have to add one more to 14. So 14 plus one is 15. Anytime you have a doubles plus one fact, go ahead and circle that smaller number that reminds you that that's the number you have to double before you add one more to that answer. Okay, first grade, you have two minutes. is down just like mine is. We're not going to touch our pencil the rest of the time that we're working on our facts. Remember that if your answer is correct, just put a little dot by your problem. If it is incorrect, then you can go ahead and you can put the correct answer right next to it. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. Eight plus two is 10. Five plus three is eight. I need to pick a different color, don't I? I picked my favorite, but it's really hard to see. There we go. Four plus six is 10. We already did seven plus eight is 15. Two plus three is five. Next row, six plus three is nine. One plus nine is 10. 
5 plus 4 is 9. 3 plus 7 is 10. 7 plus 6 is 13. I did double 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. And add one more to that because 7 is one more than 6. Gives you 13. 9 plus 7, remember that's a, a adding 9 fact. So you take the other number, what's 1 less than 7? 6, and put a 1 in front of it. Gives you 16. So 9 plus 7 is 16. 7 plus 2 is 9. 5 plus 5 is 10. It's a nice double. 4 plus 9, 13. 7 plus 3 is 10. 3 plus 4 is 7. 6 plus 9, 15. 5 plus 6 is 11. 2 plus 8 is 10. 3 plus 5 is 8. Last row. 9 plus 5 is 14. 6 plus 4 is 10. 9 plus 3 is 12. 3 plus 6 is 9. And 9 plus 1 equals 10. Now that we've done the front side for string, you are responsible for the back side. Name. Read the answers to somebody, then write them. Step one, step two, step three, ask someone to correct your paper, and then they are putting their name right there. When you're done, and this will go, when you are all finished first grade, this will go into your Monday folder.